Hi, everyone. Welcome to Code Pink's What the F is Going On in Latin America. This is our 20 minutes of hot news from south of the border every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Today, we are going to be discussing um, Venezuela's cryptocurrency, the Petro. This was something um, particularly of interest to me, having just returned from Venezuela over the holiday season. I spent two weeks there and saw a robust holiday economy that has not been um, seen for a couple years. And the biggest stimulus was um, the petrol currency that many citizens had access to and were using. And so today, um, on our Facebook Live, we are really honored to introduce to you Daniel Pena. He is the Vice Director of the Academy, and let me make sure I get this right, Daniel. Universidad Nacional Experimental de Telecomunicaciones y Informática. UNETI, correct? Yeah. Okay. Right. And so we are going to talk about cryptocurrency, blockchain, and the whole history of the Petro um, in Venezuela, where it came from, why it's necessary, and how it's being used today. We have a wonderful PowerPoint presentation available for all of you to watch. I'd like Danielle to go through his PowerPoint presentation for all of us, uh, about 15, 20 minutes, and then um, we'll be open for um, some Q&A after that. So, um, Daniel, why don't you introduce us to the Petro? Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, I want to show you about the, the website of the Petro. You can check and look everything, information, many information about uh, cryptocurrency, about the, the, the information of the calculator of the Petro, some normative that we, you can download here about the cryptocurrency here in Venezuela because we are the, the, the first country to deploy a system of blockchain of cryptocurrency uh, to make a very uh, comfort or very uh, interested about the petrol because petrol is the first cryptocurrency that is uh, your packet uh, by the state uh, it is back it was a, a country's natural resource uh, reserve that Venezuela are the more the more have the most uh, reserve of petroleum uh, on the world, and right now our president uh, Nicolas Maduro uh, proposed this cryptocurrency packet to make um, to try to to get more uh, investment here in Venezuela against all the bad information or, or at the at the news or the newspapers uh, uh, or and to make an uh, option from Venezuelan people to exchange for food, medicine, here in Venezuela. Right now here, you can download the white paper. The white paper for us is uh, the, the most important uh, information because here you can, in, in one cryptocurrency, you can uh, know about it. Because right now, the Petro for us is the tower of the economy digital revolution because here we can explain all about the Petro. With, with uh, which technology base we are using because it's a, an influential policy. What is the petro? Which petro you can buy? What is the usability, usability that we are working? How to buy petros? How the price of the petro you can? Uh, we are using uh, how the packet or, or the commodities resource we make the price of the petro because the petro is, is like. Uh, uh, and a stable coin because we are using and we are going to check here uh, the, and the, in this white paper how and all, all information about this what are these incentives that we are making with uh, all the investor uh, international investment and how the mission how many how many coins from this cryptocurrency are this is the, the ecosystem that we are working and right now in Venezuela we are deployed because the most important in all the most important things in all cryptocurrency is the the, the usability how you can uh, deploy how the 
many citizens can buy things in the shopping at the farmer uh, and all uh, information that we have. Here is a, a some introduction. You can check it after. But I want to start here. The technology can buy base that we are deploying this technology. This technology is back is based on the blockchain, which allow and transfer value and information, making possible the defense of the third party. If these third parties that was uh, block our country is the whole economical system because the problem was that we had a financial sanctions against all money that we have in many banks in, in, in around the world. We had like a two thousand billion dollars uh, blocked in banks, international international banks that we cannot buy medicine for our child, our children. For the people, we cannot buy with our money, money that we receive exchanging petroleum. So let me just interrupt for a minute to give okay. a little bit of, to our audience that. So what some of these things, issues that Danielle is discussing, not having access to um, Venezuelans' own foreign currency, not being able to um, repatriate foreign profits not being able to transfer funds through the overnight uh, banking system, all of this, you're unable to do any of that as, as a nation because of the financial sanctions that are imposed on the country. And so I just want people to understand that this, that there's, there are all of these crippling um, variables in the, in the international market that are prohibiting Venezuela from operating with, uh, with US dollars overseas and or impossible to repatriate your own money, including gold sitting in the Bank of London. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a real need to develop an alternative system. Yeah, yeah that's because the uh, blockchain, uh, you can do that because it's a, a, a transparent digital financial uh, that we can certify our commodities uh, using for the facility to acquisition and exchange made for many things. So this idea, it was original, uh, the uh, original of our president, Hugo Chavez, idea of creating a stone coin bucket by the Venezuelan Natural Bridge. This idea goes back about the proposal of the, the, all the global financial and monetary coordination because in, in 2009, uh, the president Chavez in Qatar said that uh, he, he had an idea to use some uh, or to make some coin that you can exchange around the, all the commercial of petroleum with the <coughs> petroleum country. So where you can buy uh, petroleum with this petrol, as idea as a coin, as a digital coin, not as a cryptocurrency, because the cryptocurrency idea, like a Bitcoin was very at the beginning of this, because the, the, the Bitcoin, uh, so many people, the technical people said that the Bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency uh, deployed, but some uh, pseudonym. So a Japanese was... pseudonym, but because we are working on the some investigation that we're making here in, in, in our university, we are uh, explore many things that say that this pseudonym, uh, Japanese pseudonym, uh, Satoshi Nakamoto, that nobody knows, nobody knows him. Say we we are right now very uh, more active that this 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 pseudonym said that the the deployment of Bitcoin is all the the corporation around the Microsoft because if you check the where the the the, the um, standard of the blockchain that in the white paper of Bitcoin is making by MIT, the, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And if you check how many ATM are in Japan, only 12. If you check how many ATM are in the United States, I around 4,000. So all the, the idea of the Bitcoin as a cryptocurrency, we are checking in our university and said that the, the, around the, 
the, the digital information corporation that deployed this were very, uh, very, uh, our, our, our investigation makes that the, the, the people that is around this of Bitcoin is Microsoft. Yeah, I want to show you more interest, but taking around a uh, go back here to for the petrol. Our president, Nicolas Moreno, has established petrol as the way to answer the dominance of perversion towards uh, our, our world economy. Because the petrol is an expression of modernity, uh, modernization of the public politics for the tension of this economy and mix that Venezuelan people, uh, our medicine, or all of this. This, is, this information that, that this management is considered as the free government to support our sovereign digital coin. We are the first country or government that decides to make a digital sovereign, uh, a sovereign digital coin. That's all, uh, another uh, important issue. And that's why our pres the, the president of the United States, uh, in a, one day before we uh, launched the petrol, exactly in uh, February 19, uh, he makes a decision that anybody who buy or are invest in, in, make some invest in investment in petrol is going to uh, receive a financial sanction. So that, that the, um, the, the president of the United States used around 20 minutes in his speech, in his speech to make sanctions around the Fed. Is there the first step that we uh, explain for all, the, uh, all, all people who say that the blockchain, the cryptocurrency uh, are free, it has no design for, or, or, or make a decision about the government and the government of the United States this day make a one first step against of the cryptocurrency uh, and blockchain system. So, the, the, okay. I wonder, you've said a couple things that I wonder if we could tie together here for our audience. So, okay. So, the President of the United States has made um, purchasing of the Petro um, illegal, subject to sanctions. I know that for a fact because I have some small investments and every time I talk to uh, anyone that handles um, investments in the United States, they show you a disclosure paper that you have to sign off on that says they cannot um, recommend investment in cryptocurrencies and the Petro is one of the first on the list that they're not allowed to talk about. And that is a paper issued by the um, Security and Exchange Commission. But what's really fascinating to me, and um, I'm a little embarrassed that I didn't know more about this, but it kind of ties more to my understanding of what happened to the global economy in 2008. I was also alive when the global economy crashed in 1989. And, and so as we were talking earlier, this was a vision of Chavez's, of President Chavez in 2008. And so this is not anything new, but it's interesting to see, you know, that that, that, that point in time is when it was introduced as an alternative and it would make total sense that it would be to get off the US dollar, the petrodollar specifically as the global currency. I mean, you, we looked at Wall Street destroy the global economy twice in 20 years. And so, you also mentioned at one point um, that this was um, a revolutionary currency and a method of growing a revolutionary economy. And so maybe we could talk a little bit about how that, how the Petro was used to stimulate um, the holiday season this past December. Yeah, yeah that's uh, the, the, our president uh, decided to make some social bonus for so many people, the first uh, was the, our older people. Uh, this bonus make a half, a, a half petrol for everyone to make a make a some test how the, the, the deployment of the petrol, the, how the the people are agreed to use this cryptocurrency because uh, in Venezuela has a very important. Uh, deployment in technologies. 
So many people have at least two cell phones, has uh, computers, or President Chavez uh, give uh, our child and, and, and ask uh, a school, make a, give you uh, some computers, laptops. So the Venezuelan people are Venezuelan thing, are people, are technology people, but in cryptocurrency, uh, Venezuela was deploying and uh, was installing since uh, 2015. Uh, are making some many people have money deploy some mining farm in Venezuela since uh, 2016. In Venezuela was uh, exchanging bolivares. This our our uh, our our coin. Bolivar is exchanged since uh, two Bitcoin weekly, at least uh, $3 million uh, since like, uh, 2016. That's, the, that, that, that's one of the economic people uh, was uh, impact because the, the financial sanction was a uh, one of the different uh, actions that the government of the United States uh, implement here in Venezuela, installed here in Venezuela, because one of them are the using the dollars as a uh, exchange bolivares by dollar. So many people was taking dollars to buy medicine and the price of the our 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 sovereign currency that is the the bolivares uh, was making some impact because the are the, the value uh, the, our our cryptocurrency our our currency and many people in Venezuela start to use dollars things uh, this this uh, financial sanction because let me ask you about this what appeared to me, I guess, about a year ago, visiting kind of a de facto dollarization of the Venezuelan economy. I know unofficially many, many um, businesses, stores, restaurants were taking U.S. Yeah, dollars right, for right. payment, small currency, you know, small bills, ones, fives, maybe some tens. There was no ability to really change bills larger than that. Um, and this past year, um, it's been more, it's this particularly in December, just fairly overtly being used. So has the economy been officially dollarized or, and, or simply de facto dollarization? And again, is the petrol being used to help offset that influence of the US dollar? Yeah, in the fact that we had a dollarization, in fact, no, it's officially because uh, we have financial sanctions. We, if any Venezuelan people has one dollar, the, uh, the government of the United States can take take it because the, we are Venezuelan people are not the owner of the, the, the dollars. And in Venezuela, as they say, many people use the dollars to exchange for anything. As you said, we can buy at the, the uh, small, a small shopping mall or any commerce you can buy with dollar. And the people, the fact, yeah, or, or the the price uh, in the fact are saying in, in dollar. That's why in in our decision to take the petrol as a cryptocurrency is we are making. A cryptocurrency backed by the resource, the resource was uh, 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 how do you say? Uh, the resource was making an important, an important uh, value for our cryptocurrency because to 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 try go to an abundant with a with a dollar. Uh, with all the the, the uh, all the information, the bad information of Venezuela, to make an investment here, we make a, another uh, uh, information, another, another, another promotion, another currency 
to promote and to use the uh, in, in this moment the petrol to get a gold positioning for the investment, investment option because we the people don't have a mechanism a saving mechanism to exchange to make to get for, for any provider services so we decided to use petrol and to buy uh, and to make a this, this cryptocurrency is this uh, different of all 50,000 currencies that in the blockchain system uh, are the, right now uh, deployed because this is the one way and the, in this first previous test uh, our president made in this December, on this December, uh, the, what was the, 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 the way of the people to get a cryptocurrency, a sovereign cryptocurrency, and the, the government explain what you can do with this petrol. And one way was the, bond, the social bonus that our president gives for the people, and the people goes to, to save for commodities, some, some uh, companies, enterprise, you can travel cryptocurrency between people, some people, uh, take this cryptocurrency and exchange for Bolivares to buy many things uh, on the Christmas. You can uh, make some safe because this cryptocurrency is a stable coin and the, the price is, is, is difficult to go, to go down to the price. And I'm gonna explain right now the price, how you can find the price of the, of the petrol. But right now we are trying to deploy and this one, to stability. The, the president decides that in this ecosystem you can get in a wallet or an exchange payment to make different, uh, you can quote for in Bolivares, uh, currency or another cryptocurrency. Uh, you can transfer this uh, for presentation of funds or different people, but the president decides that you can Push it for goods and services, taxes, public service payments. It is it, proposed a, a number of to send remittance because so many Venezuelan people uh, are in different countries around the world. And you can use this as a, a, a through this platform to raise, uh, to seek a reason of banking population. This is another important thing that to make or to have one wallet of petrol, you only need your ID and a, a, and a photo with uh, this ID. You don't oh. need all the payment, that, all the paper, uh, sorry, all the paper that the banks uh, the highest, uh, needs to. And the other use that we can use the petrol is our, our company, our petroleum company, PDB, PDVSA, for basic companies using uh, in, uh, to buy many things. The, our president said uh, for this and um, uh, deploy a Super International de Crypto Activo, there is a, an intent to make a smart contract and regulate another, a, other, all of these natural transactions that you can use to buy many commodities uh, that Venezuela have, gold, iron, and you can buy this with the petrol. And right now, the system of the petrol, you can use petrol to exchange for another, to get petrol exchanging with yuan, dollar, uh, euro, euro, with dollar, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dash, you can uh, ripple Bitcoin around the world, you can make anything OTC, you can get a dependent wallet because if we are using uh, our wallet, and la, as you see in, in Venezuela, payment system that is deploying for different exchanges certified by the superintendents of the cryptocurrency to the people uh, get and buy and many things that, that he wants, that they, they want. So, so let me just share with you, Danielle, and our audience, some of the things just, just following up on on your discussion about you know buying pretty much anything that is needed and wanted, I I can truly testify to that. 
having gone shopping right after New Year's with some neighbors and, um, and their Petros. And it is, it's all electronic. What was interesting to me, I think I heard, I think you said 50,000, I've heard 50,000, 60,000 vendors, businesses across the country accept it as a form of payment. And what, how you pay is exactly how you said, it's with your card, you have to show proof of residency with your cedula, um, but it's all done electronically on the existing electronic system in place. All the point of sale machines that are already in place to handle the bank cards from the three Venezuelan banks were just easily reprogrammed to accept payment by the Petro. So there was no need to purchase or invest in additional software or equipment. It was just a matter of, of reprogramming the existing equipment. I will say, and I say this with a little bit of embarrassment, but it was kind of fun. I actually used um, a friend's, part of a friend's Petro II for the first time in about half a year ago and have a manicure for the holidays. And we were able to pay for that with Petros. And so it's not just food, it's not just gasoline. I mean, it's a wide range of services and it's a fantastic um, alternative. And so let me just ask you, we've got a, a couple minutes left. I just wanna ask you what the value of the Petro is today since it's uh, based on the price per barrel of oil. And we all know what, what has happened in the Middle East with the destabilization perhaps of oil that, um, so is the, is the Petro um, increasing in value now? As a you know, as an indirect, unplanned. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of yeah. a macabre thing for me to bring up, but I mean, it is all tied to the global economy, and the price of oil is spiking, and so. Um, yeah, the the price of the of the petrol. I want to show you this. The price of the petrol. Uh, can you see this? Yeah. Yes, we can yeah. see. Okay. The price of the petrol. Uh, is a, a, a reference because uh, this basket uh, we constituted, uh, constituted the results initially with oil, gold, iron, and diamond. Wow. The price of the petrol it had a factor with the price, the petrol's price at the time, with the pr price of the commodity in the in, in, at, at the time had a weight of the commodity on the basket and had a correction factor of this commodity. That's why the petrol or the price of the petrol is more stable, mm. like a stable. So, because the price of the, of the Venezuelan oil market expressed uh, in, in US dollar, but the factor is, is a 0 0.5. So the 50% the of the price of the petrol is in fact or is a uh, had the factor uh, the price thing of this commodity in 15 percent so this so, is a way to prevent the sabotaging of the of the currency due to global manipulation of oil prices exactly yeah the first the, the, first, the first time that we did decide to use the petrol we said 100 percent of the oil of the of the price of the Venezuelan mass oil basket had the price of uh, the price of the petrol the problem was the United States government decided to use the fracking and the uh, manipulate the price of the oil around the world and get the dip down or go down to the order price. And we cannot, uh, we decide to dip, to uh, to change the, the how the price, the petrol price is uh, decided and make another uh, implementation to make a basket of commodity. And like in this moment, if the 50% is in fact with the price of Venezuelan oil, the 20% is with the ounce of gold. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. The 20% yep. with the metric ton of okay. iron. Okay. Okay. So, as, so if gold, that, if the oil price is manipulated to deteriorate on the gold on the on the global market, generally when oil goes down people of huge capitalist means start investing in diamonds and gold. And so yeah. that's the balancing factor yes. to prevent the sabotaging. I understand. Oh, wow. Fascinating. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's pretty immune to being sabotaged by. Yeah. That's, that's why we decided, we 
this uh, the this form because this is what, this is the way that uh, we can uh, make a, a or, or a, a, a goes against of this approach and that's why the press the price right now with the, the, the our commander who was killing in Iraq mm -hmm. and the price of the oil to go out right now the price of the petrol uh, we again if you compare with your uh, dollars or euro the price is going to be up the, of the petrol right now it's not like a bitcoin that is a price that goes immediately because the the, the 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 bitcoin if you check the data of bitcoin i'm going to show you this check here right now if you check the 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 price of the Bitcoin right now. You can see this? this no, no, nope, I still see the. Uh, okay, let me let me uh, change change the minutes. So really, you've built in, you know, a very stable. Yeah. I mean, it's a cryptocurrency that's not particularly volatile. The, this you is, that's you've that's really the managed most, the volatility of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the most important. Uh, uh, well, no wonder the SEC doesn't want me to buy any. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why so many uh, uh, investors are interested in the petrol because it's invented in some uh, or many things that you can re make a refuge. If you use like a Bitcoin, you can refuse with the, with the Bitcoin going down, the price of the Bitcoin going down, you can refuse in the petrol. Or right. if there are so many uh, another uh, uh, currency in the, uh, the forest market, you can buy so many petrols and your, your, you have a, a stable so this is a this is a really very clever brilliant way to encourage foreign yeah. investment in the country yeah yeah, I, yeah the big right. wow the possibilities yeah. are amazing with this yeah. oh i see here's the big yeah mm -hmm. finance is the most important uh, exchange around the world it's a chinese exchange we use yeah. this this one to to check and trade so many people and the university were preparing and we are like a uh, financial education people because uh, as Chinese people had an army to get in the economical uh, war that is right now working here. If you check here in 24 hours, uh, the, yeah. the exchange of, of dollars is yeah. around the 19, six billions of dollars that right now in 24 hours are making people are buying and selling. The price right now the, of the of the Bitcoin is going down. If yeah. you check what happened in this moment, in this moment, let me check, uh, let's try this. You can see the price of the of the, yeah, it's far uh, more volatile. Right now, uh, in, since uh, the, with the peak, the, our commander was killing in Iraq, the price of the Bitcoin, because the people in, 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 in Iran, uh, so many people use cryptocurrency. Because yeah. what? Oh, so because now here, so people in Iran use cryptocurrency. Now, are they using a cryptocurrency in Iran for the same reasons, to work around um, the, the, the strike? <laughs> sanctions against them and not being able to participate in the global economy with US dollars. Yeah. Same, um, same reason. So many people get buy so many bitcoins and the price of the bitcoin going up. But mm -hmm. right now as some no, no new no yeah, the price is going down. So people right. use this to exchange or to take uh, out because it's not it's not the same to get 100 million dollars in cash 
I could get 100 million in, in a wallet, electronic wallet, or hot wallet, or a cold wallet that you can take out as a USB uh, drive and to get our goal uh, for a level country. So this is one of the people we are trying to, to explain how the difference between cryptocurrency like, like, like Bitcoin, I'm gonna show you another, another important uh, page that is coin market cap. I don't know how you see it. This is the, the place when you can check the top 100 cryptocurrencies by market cap capitalization. You can see here the first one is Bitcoin and the market cap of Bitcoin is 147 billion of dollars. But the volume that we are, we are using volume in 24 hours is 32 million, million of dollars. The second one is Ethereum. But if you check, if, if the, the United States government decide, didn't decide to make a financial sanction of the petrol, the value, the total value of the petrol, if you use a price $60 by, by petrol, the emission of the total petrol are 100 million. If you multiply by $60, the capital of the market capital that the petrol has is 6,000 or $6 billion. If with the petrol, uh, with, we didn't have the, the, the financial sanction of the, our cryptocurrency, the petrol in the first day is gonna be here in the, first place in the market around the cryptocurrency because the price of the total of the market that the petro has is six thousand or six billion dollars so that's why the president of the united states decided no uh, a small country in the south america with a black people that has option cannot uh, manipulate can the <laughs> You understand? Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's very. So let me ask you, you know, gosh, Danielle, you've given us 40 minutes instead of our 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm so thankful for your time. Is there anything, any one last comment or one last point that um, that you'd like to make or that we should discuss with our audience? No, the, the most important, uh, uh, if you want to explain more about the petrol, I decided to, to share with, with, with you uh, this uh, uh, white paper. Uh, the petrol, uh, we are right now, some uh, information, important information that in the currency people or system uh, need to know the investment, what the, the, the president is going to do with the first mission. Because for us, the, the ecosystem that we are making, uh, uh, the, the, the institute that regulate all the activities that are legal of the, the cryptocurrency in Venezuela decide. Right now, uh, all the, the, the information of, of Petro are in this place. I want to show you another thing that is. Let me say, let me, uh, so just so the audience knows, I'll post the link for this white paper. Um, yeah. In the comments section of our of our recorded video on Code Pink's Facebook page, so that people can take a look at that. Yeah, here right now you can download the web paper. I'm going to show you this: the the, the script, that is the, the the regulation, make the regulation what the system or the normative that we set. Another thing that are are the uh, exchanges, because Venezuela have to deploy because. With the financial sanctions, we have to use our own uh, exchanges. Right. That, that was my that next it. question. Since you're not listed, you know, on um, on the um, coin market cap, where what platform? But you have your own platform. Yeah, we are trying to make it this because uh -huh. uh, the president of the United States said that not only the, the sanctions, it's the problem. You know that it was a phrase that government. Uh, I remember of the the CEO of the Bitcoin Cash. We have some by con the video conference with him, 
that are there and they, they, they wasn't interested in to buy so many petrol. But say that how the government is going to regulate the, this uh, system. And we decide if we have a permission to get in one exchange, international exchange, we're going to try. Uh, uh, we're gonna make us uh, some transfer of the, the the how the cryptocurrency are very free. But right now we are showing our uh, all the world that the cryptocurrency are not free. They are decided for the government of the USA or, or different governments around the financial uh, political uh, or financial system that decide if the cryptocurrency are making or you can use it for exchange for many. So that's one of the, the, the things they're gonna show. The value of the petrol, we, we can uh, explain right now here. This is the calculator of petrol. You can check how the price of our sovereign for uh, Bolivares, how in Bitcoin, oh. how is it in dollars right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so right after New Year's, I think it was Thursday or Friday of last week, um, I did this with some friends and their neighbors with their half Petro and uh, with their Petro. And um, it was just under 50 US, it was like 48.7. So it's gone up. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, this is all just very fascinating to me. So, so listen, I would love to keep talking to you for a whole nother hour about this, but um, I know I kept you uh, on this webinar for 45 minutes now, and I um, would just like to um, thank you for participating and also for, to uh, a huge thank you to Michelle Elner for um, inviting you to come join us and have this conversation today. It was just such um, a poignant experience I had the last two weeks in Venezuela and really, really wanted to share it with our audience and have someone of your expertise explain um, all of it. And so I just so thank you uh, for your conversation today. And I hope that we can stay in touch and have some follow-up conversation. Good. For me uh, and the Venezuelan people, uh, I'm very interested that this this uh, information about the petrol, about the how the our government, our people are doing uh, with our hands, as we said yeah. in Venezuela, we are trying to make this uh, to this information goes to uh, around the world. Uh, thank you, with Michelle. Thank you for the whole team uh, here at a soldier to, to help. Uh, all the information that you need about the cryptocurrency, we can make another, uh, especially information that we need, that you need, and uh, we need. Uh, we are very grateful. Uh, our university is yours. Uh, if you have another uh, information about telecommunication or, or software that you want to, to explain, uh, I think that it's important that, that right now that what's happening and what we are going to happen with all these well it's going to be fascinating to watch you know as uh, the volatility of other um you know global currencies how yeah. yeah it's going to be a very very fascinating the next few days few weeks so so again thank you so much danielle and um i'd like to stay in touch for additional materials because there's some things that i would like to post as follow-up to this lecture um additional information um for our audience to uh, research materials for our audience. Okay, thank oh. you. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. We'll talk again. Okay. Okay. Good. Ciao. Yeah. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>